Uh, God is love, eh? God is good. Yes, but at the same time is what? Consuming fire, it says. Jesus is like a lion, but at the same time like a lamb. Now you will tell me, why you are telling us all these things? What you want to pass to us? What message you have? There is a very important message here about the instruction of God. This is the title of today's message. The instruction of God is something so important that you cannot deny. You cannot. If God is telling you today, go there, okay, and you will not go there, what are you? A, rebe a rebellion, disobedient person. Exactly. Human nature makes us do things that is against God's instruction. It's not that you want to do it, but your human nature wants it. Because you are more human than spirit. You can be more spirit than human being, you know that? There is a level in faith makes you live a life of a spirit, not of a human, of a spirit. When I say that, I'm not, I don't mean that you will stop eating or you will stop drinking or you will stop going to the bathroom. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that your body will not tell you what to do. For example, if today you have a headache and it's very severe, like, uh, you will stay in your house saying, I have a headache, I, I, I cannot go nowhere. This makes you a human being. If God told you every Sunday you will go to the church, no matter what, if a headache can stop you going to the church, you are more in a human nature than in a spiritual nature. How many times the people today they want to stay in their house, to not go to their job, especially Mondays. A lot of millions, billions of people. They don't want to go Monday to their job. Why? Because their human nature is telling them, what a nice weekend you had. Now it's time to bow your head down and go again to work. This is your human nature that's telling you that. When you are sick, sickness will tell you something. When you have a pain in your tooth, you will go to the dentist right away, right? You say, it's okay, it's a, it's a tooth. Let me go to the dentist to, eh, to fix it. When you have a cancer, when you have cancer, are you saying, I'm gonna go to the doctor to be healed? Or are you saying, Jesus, you have mercy on me. Heal me. I don't want to go to the doctor. One second, one second. Sickness is one, sickness is the other. One is more sickness, the other one is, is greater sickness. Why in the greater sickness you pray to God? And when you have a pain in your tooth, you don't pray. Why? Because of human nature. This why. You don't, you don't live in the spirit. You, you don't have total dependence on God in everything. You have dependence of God, on God when you want it to have it. For you to follow the instruction of God that it says, have total dependence on me in everything, eh? you change it and you say, I don't need God for my tooth. I don't need God to drive. Your human nature, your human rebellion made you to do things that has nothing to do with God's instruction. You are doing it by yourself. You are on your own. You fight alone. You talk alone. Nobody can hear you. Jesus cannot hear you. Today we have hope to the people as well. We say, oh, I have this person here. Eh? She's a millionaire. She's a billionaire. She's a president. I don't know what she is. And you have hope to hear. If your mind is not independent, he will lead you. You will go to fall with the fallen. You see how important is the instruction that God will give you. Some people today, Christians, they go in front of him, Jesus, please tell me what to do. 
I will do everything. Whatever you will ask me to do, I will do it. Tell me. And then God is sending a prophet to them and he's telling them, God wants you to be a prophet. God wants you to be a businessman. God wants you to be a president. God wants you to have a career. One second, prophet. You are in rust. What are you talking about? What businessman? I have $10 in my bank. You are telling me to be a businessman. Eh? You see? The first thing that they will say is a negative thing. Right away. The $10 ruling their, their calling. They cannot see. The people that they have a calling and the prophet of God will tell them what to do through the word of the Lord, like a prophecy. They are not, uh, they are not able, they are not ready yet to pay the price. Because some people, they think that they are on this earth to eat all day, okay? Sleep all day, work all day, and one day to die. This is your calling today for real now. This is why I'm telling you that there are people that they cannot see. So are you blind? Or you can see the instruction of God. Are you ready to listen to the instruction of God? Or you want to be eaten by a lion? By the time you will put the word of God in the midst of your heart, and you start meditating on it, as you have aim, you aim somewhere to go. You have a vision. If this is the way to your vision, and someone on your way is telling you, Come with me, I have millions to give you. You will have a good life. Now you have only $10 in your bank. If you go astray, the lion will eat you. This is what the Christians are doing today to God. God wants to give them spiritual eyes so they can see. And they say no, and they insist. Because that's how they learn to live their life. Miserable, with sickness, with chains, they don't want to see. And when a genuine man of God is going to them, is telling them, do this, do this, do this, again, 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 they don't want to do it because that's how they grew up. They don't want to see. They want to what? To have limitation in progress. That's how they live their life. And today I pray for all the Christians in the whole world to let God to enter the life 100%, not 50%, not 99%, but 100%. If you live your life in Christ Jesus 100%, then your spirit will wake up 100%. This is the perfection that Jesus was talking about. Nobody is perfect. Of course, we will do some mistakes, but without knowing, not knowingly, to do the mistake. For you to say no to sin, you need the Holy Spirit. Is it possible for me and you to say no to sin without the help of the Holy Spirit? But if you have the Holy Spirit 50% in your life, the Holy Spirit is not there. Because the Holy Spirit even is there or not. It cannot be 50%. The Holy Spirit cannot enter your heart and tell you what to do if you don't have it 100% in your heart. If your heart has worry, Holy Spirit is not there. Holy Spirit cannot dwell with worry. There is no fear to a Christian. A genuine child of God has no fear at all. Nothing. He's not afraid of anything. No matter what is this, there is no fear. If you have God in your life, you have Jesus, the Son, in your life, and the Holy Spirit in your life, there is no fear. There is no worry. There is no sadness. There is nothing there. In your heart, I mean, in your heart. In your flesh, maybe there is something, no problem. For you to be tested, yes. Sickness can come, but it's for a while. It's not forever. No matter the sickness. The people that they are sick, they are sick today, they deal with it. They wake up in the morning and they deal with their sickness. They are not fighting against the sickness to say, I don't want you here. You are a stranger. They don't say that. You understand? They just deal with their sickness. They, they wake up, they go like this. I have pain in my back. I know. Because you, you receive it. You, eh? you want it. 
you deal with it. So my main issue here is you to fulfill the will of God in your life and to follow the instruction of God. This is my main issue. When you, when you are making mistakes, mistakes are correctable, no problem. Do your mistake, no problem. But don't do the same mistake again. This is the problem. The problem today is that the Christians, they are doing a mistake, they don't learn from it. Because maybe they didn't have consequences. And they are not realizing that the consequences that you didn't have is the grace of God. Don't provoke him. Learn from your mistake. Be wise. If something happened to you and you say, this happened because of this. Someone is telling you for what reason this happened. And you didn't learn from it. You do the same mistake again. This is not wisdom. So please, remember, follow the instruction of God 100%. Even if it seems that is something painful. Follow the instruction of God 100%. Even if it looks like it's weird, it's crazy, doesn't make sense, you name it. If I was telling you now, you, brother, go to Los Angeles, in 30th Avenue, you will see a Corvette convertible. Steal it and bring it to New York. If someone cuts you in the street, a police or the owner of the car, tell them that Prophet Michael needs it. Are you going to do it? The disciples did it. It just said to them, go to the other town, steal the donkey, if someone tells you, hey, this is my donkey, why you are taking it? Tell them, Jesus won it. Was not weird, was not crazy what he was asking from them. He was. But they did, he said, yes, sir, I'm going. They went, where are you going? Are you crazy? No, I just follow the instruction. God will never tell you to do something that will destroy your life. You understand? If you follow the instruction, you will surprise yourself. And you will attract the attention from God that you have an obedient ear.